good afternoon to Madam Dayang and my fellow friends. Today I will talk about history of Queen Sisawat Kosama. Before I start the story about the Queen, allow me to introduce my group members, which are Olivia Razia Mansiang, Veronica Veron, Muhammad Aidil, No Shahira, and myself, Anna. Sisawat Monibong Kosama Neriret Sere Vatana was born April 1994 in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Sisawat Kosama was born the daughter of King Sisawat Monivong and his wife Narodom Kanviman Nolia Devi. She is better known by the title of Queen Sisawat Kosama. Queen Sisawat Kosama married her father's cousin Narodom Suramarit in 1920. She held the title of Queen Mother in 1941 until 1955. This is because her son Narodom Sihano was elected as the new king in the 1940th century after the death of King Sisawat Monivong. She received the honorary title of Queen Consort in 1955 until 1960, which was crowned on March 5, 1955. Cambodian Queen Sisawat Kosama finally died on April 27, 1975 at the age of 71 in Beijing, China. So, here is contribution in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Development of life history of Queen Sisawat Kosama. In the 1940s century, Queen Kosama made a choreography related to the Apsara dance. She relaunched the Asian Apsara dance, which was limited due to the attack of the Siam Mess government on the 15th century. As a result of the attack, the Khmer government had to relocate their capital to Phnom Penh and since then, the Apsara then has been restricted to palace only. However, in the early 19th century, Cambodian Queen Sisawat Kosama relaunched the Apsara dance for the people of Cambodia by training her first granddaughter, Princess Narodom Bopa Devi, to play the role of the dance main character. This Bopa Devi princess made dance performance all over the continent until she became famous to this day. It is clear that Queen Kosama was the patron of the palace dance by assigning the court dance rule to create a non-narrative dance work entitled Apsara in, in the 1950s. After the death of her husband Monivong in 1941, Narodom Sihano, his son, took the throne of the new king of Cambodia. King Narodom Sihano ruled in the 1940 until 1955. This was due to his father Narodom Suramarit, who later ruled Cambodia for five years. However, after the death of Narodom Suramarit in 1960, his son Sihano returned as head of state despite not officially reclaiming the title of king until 1993. Sihano had the opportunity to make proposal related to the drafting of the constitution in Cambodia. This is clear, allowing Kosama to succeed as queen of Cambodia. This, however, was not approved by the government council which was not uh, willing to allow it. Queen 
Kosama after the death of her husband continued to function as a monarchy until the declaration of the Hammer Republic in 1970. Queen Sisowat Kosama could be Queen of Cambodia largely intended for ceremonies in Cambodia. King Sihano was a very respected person and very popular among the people even though he was not a king or a politically influential person. Queen Sisowat Kosama is said to have great moral authority over the Hammer occupation of Cambodia. Clearly, she was one of the three queens in Cambodia. Following the death of Narodom Suramarit in 1960, Queen Kosama became a symbol of representative of the monarchy in Hammer, Cambodia. This allowed him to continue the role of his representative during the reign of his son Narodom Sihano and Queen Kosama continued his representation of Prime Minister in the 1960s century. Not only that, he is also seen to uphold his popularity. Queen Sisowat Kosama too is described as generous to the poor in hammer and devote herself to the welfare of the hammer country of Cambodia. The awards Queen Sisowat Kosama received. Queen Sisowat Kosama is seen receive many awards during her reign as Queen Consort. Examples of awards she received were Order of the Crown Realm and Collar of the White Lion Order. Not only that, she also received the award which is the Thomasse Primary Degree. Also, the Grand Cross of the Order Million Elephants and the White Parasol. Queen Sisowat Kosama also received the Order of the Yugoslavian Great Star, Order of Solomon, Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor, and lastly, Star of the Republic of Indonesia. Clearly, the Queen Sisowat Kosama was a popular and generous person. In 1965, a conflict arose when the United States published Slater accusing Queen Kosama of greed and building a brothel in Phnom Penh. This has led to the attack on the American embassy in Phnom Penh, which severed diplomatic relations between Cambodia and the United States. Clearly, the American accusation against her was so effective that it severed diplomatic relations between the two countries. Ending of Life Queen Sisawat Kosama After the Cambodian in the 1970, Queen Sisowat Kosama was stripped of all status during the official declaration of the Republic in October 1970. This led to her being forced to leave the palace by the new government of Cambodia. Not only that, she was also detained in a villa on the outskirts of the city until her health deteriorated in 1973. Therefore, Queen Kosama was allowed to accompany her son in Beijing, China on the grounds that her health was deteriorating. He finally died in China two years later on April 27, 1975. In conclusion, Queen Sisowat Kosama was seen as a generous and palm person in the 
1990 century in Phnom Penh, Cambodia until she received various awards. She was also a great culturalist. Therefore, we must set such an example and follow so that we can produce such qualities in the future. That's all. Thank you.